Tonight on BCN's Weekly News, a new memorial to commemorate Bereans who passed away unveiled on campus, and the end of another presidential administration at Berea College coming up. All of this and more coming up soon tonight on BCN Weekly News. BCNR's studio in Berea, Kentucky. This is BCN Weekly News. Good evening and welcome back to another newscast of BCN Weekly News. My name is Esteban Reina. We begin this newscast with a preview of BCN's own Shania Swan's uh, special report, which will be covered next week. She will talk about workers' compensation on campus. This is a developing story, which will be shown next week. Stay tuned for an exclusive interview with Stephen Lawson, the Associate Vice President of Human Resources, who will answer how the administration supports student workers who get injured while working on campus. In other news, on October 21st, the Campus Christian Center unveiled a memorial to remember all students, staff and faculty who passed away while studying or working at, here at Berea College. Located between the library and the art building, the memorial is informally known as Love Lives On. This memorial shows the names of 21 Bereans who passed away since 2012 while being active members of Berea College. According to the Dean of the Chapel, Dr. Loretta Reynolds, the memorial was commissioned to artist Jonathan Cox, and it will add the names of those Bereans who pass away in the future. I have been at Berea College for 23 years, and during that 23 years, unfortunately, we have lost faculty, staff, and students. And every time we went through that very emotional, very sad process, People were wanting to do something to memorialize, to remember the people that they loved and lost. And so I just began to think that if we had something that we knew we did for every person, the same thing, and we knew that that, that would be the thing we would do, kind of like a tradition, but something that would be beautiful, that we could remember and celebrate their lives. So this uh, began to be a dream. and. As we began, we finally had to go through a process to make that happen. The CCC invites people to rest, meditate, pray, or remember a loved one while visiting the sacred space. In other news, President and First Lady Rulofs have announced they will retire from Berea College on June 30th, 2023. The Roloffs administration began 11 years ago in 2012, and it saw many improvements on campus. The creation of the President's Run Club, the implementation of horse logging in the college's forest, and the construction of the biggest building in town, the Mac Building. The Board of Trustees announced they will start searching for Berea's 10th President, and it will announce it next year. Coming next on BCN Weekly News. Another week and another segment of News of Food. Stay tuned to see the restaurant our reporter Cameron Williams visited this week. What's your mask say about you? It says you care about others. So mask up and save lives. Are you having trouble keeping your dog or cat? Don't surrender your pet. Let the Kentucky Humane Society help. Our free pet helpline offers advice on whatever animal issue you're experiencing. The Healthy Pets Clinic provides low-cost vaccines and basic veterinary care. And our SNP Clinic offers affordable spay and neuter. If you're interested in training your dog, we offer behavior classes as well as private training for puppies and adults. Don't give up. Improve the lives of you and your pet. Go to kyhumane.org for help. Fact, COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. Millions of doses have already been given in the United States, and these vaccines have the most intensive safety monitoring in U.S. history. If you have questions, get answers from a reliable source, cdc.gov. Thanks for staying with us. This week, 
Our very own Cameron Williams is back with another segment of News of Food. What restaurant did you go today, Cameron? Well, Esteban, this week I tried out a restaurant not too far from campus. The Old Town Amish Food Store has just about anything you could think of. The store offers Amish country favorites such as hand-rolled butter, a variety of cheeses, and more than 70 spices. You can also support local Berea businesses by purchasing some of their local raw honey, cornmeal, goat soap, lotions, and saucers. If you're in the mood for a good affordable meal, stop by the deli and try a delicious sandwich. You can choose between over 29 types of cheeses and 16 types of meat. Afterwards, if you're in the mood for something sweet, you can pick up one of their many baked goods that are baked fresh every day. For my meal, I went with the number four. That's the sweet and smoky. That's Virginia ham, applewood, cheddar, and honey mustard on wheat. And get this, every sandwich comes with a generous portion of chips, all for just $6.50. So head on down to the Old Town Amish store. Back to you, Esteban. Thank you, Cameron. On behalf of our news team, thank you for watching BCN Weekly News. I'm Esteban Reina. For more coverage, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Berea College News Radio and watch our show online at www.bcnewsradio.com. Good night.